So, but even though we already talk about it, but we don't know what exactly we want to do yeah. because we want to keep the battle exciting. <laughs> so I do short run and I I back he, like that. I, in my mind was like, sorry, I don't want to make you mad, <laughs> but that is the only way I can do. I'm dizzy of the Supernaturals crew. Come join me as we take the b-boy culture to the promised land. All right, this is it. We're here. Welcome to a little tiny interview that we're going to be having and that we're going to be discussing about all the things that went down. Everyone is talking about this event and I think that's amazing because that's exactly what it was about, making the world talk about this. Uh, a lot of people are talking about you right now, right? <laughs> They're talking about you. I can't imagine. <laughs> whatever is in your head, whatever thoughts you have, let's discuss that and uh, have a little bit of drink so we can loosen up. So, cheers. <laughs> Where should we start? Let's talk about, um, like, why, why did you call him out in the first place? Like, they get that you're his fans, but why, would you, why did this have to happen in the first place? Um, because when I start breaking, I don't have a teacher. And I just, just watching Hontan's video and learning everything by myself. <laughs> and later, uh, I never passed the prison. Because people say, oh, you, you are a battle of Hong Ten. You cannot pa pass every battle or win every battle. But I want to prove they are wrong. <laughs> and after that, I win some small battle until hard work for maybe six or seven years. I win Taiwan BC1 Cyber. Then I start to my uh, international journey mm -hmm. to travel some country to battle a lot of famous b-boy. But uh, even though how hard I try, I never have a chance to have a battle home with home team. So I was dream like a, I hope really hope one day I can battle with me with, battle with home team. No matter the results, no matter what people looks um, looks me, I just want to make it happen. Yeah. And uh, now I'm 29. Home team is 36. Oh, it's thir I think 35. 35. Oh, 36 in Korean age. Okay. So no matter what, we both are getting older. So I have uh, something in my mind speak to me like uh, if you don't do it now, when? Yeah. You need, when you you have time to do. Uh -huh. So I just make it happen. I remember you, you were you asked me one time. You said, "Oh, I want to battle Hong Ten. Do you think it's possible?" <laughs> right? It was kind of it was kind of kind of funny. <laughs> you say sure, just <laughs> asking. But uh, and the be because of Hong Ten was uh, training me before in 2016. So in my mind. I really respect him and I think he is like uh, my big brother and also teacher so I was worried about if I challenge him maybe let him feel disrespect yeah. but they just uh, say yeah you just uh, ask like if you battle him in the circle that's kind of feel feels like disrespect you know of course he'll probably battle and you but you challenge him in the circle but they're still gonna they're still gonna feel it's weird so I said the best thing you can do I think is to call him out and pay him, right? <laughs> right? Like that's, that's for sure. Even though, even though, if Hong Ten say he don't want to charge, I will still pay him. Yeah. Because yeah. he he deserve. Yeah. yeah and yeah. he's legend of b boy scene. Yeah. If yeah. he don't get paid, I think other people no chance. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. deserve. So uh, okay, let's talk about the battle, or let's talk about leading up into the battle, right? So a lot of people are saying like, why did you call him out so? disrespectful online and be like hey I want to battle you and like you know like why like uh, that because I really respect him but I feel if before the battle I show like oh please battle to me it's kind of not good <laughs> so I feel I at least need to like a warrior and uh, like a man to challenge you, my hero I think that's my way want to do but in my mind a hundred percent, no, thousand percent respect Hong Ten. <laughs> yeah, so when I do the video to change him, I say, I better than you. But in my mind, be like, please don't mind, please don't mind. <laughs> it's just acting, please. Okay, let's talk about short rounds, right? A lot of people are trolling that it's too short, right? Why, why it's such a short round? Okay, because this battle, at least, need to battle 20 minutes. 
most is 50 minutes. 50 minutes. So I was win the Taiwan qualifier of Rebel BC1. It's only 12, 12 rounds, 12 sets. 12 sets is equal 5 minutes solo. Equal to 5 minutes solo, yeah, yeah. So 5, five minutes solo in this, our battle format is just a 2 rounds. <laughs> so after 2 rounds, what can I do? So I need to save in my energy. Uh -huh. And the other reason is I know Hongtan is a freaking monster. <laughs> so if I do strong round to battle him early, I have no chance to take one point. <laughs> so I was thinking like, uh, because I read a lot of cyber battle, I thought a lot of b-boy do short round to make people tired. Mm -hmm. So I just trying to do little. And until sure. he tired, I can do my best move. And I was try a couple times, and until I kind of Confuse myself, myself, yeah, everything yeah. I confuse, and he's still not tired. <laughs> <laughs> so I just feel like, oh damn, <laughs> he's just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, even though how hard I try, he's keeping doing strong move. And what thing like, I never seen he doing so great in front of me. <laughs> Oh damn! <laughs> 2016, I was watching Rebel BC One Japan. I am world final there, and I feel amazing. But I'm far. But this time, I just like a private theater, <laughs> and he's in front of me, <laughs> do every move and looking at me like, <laughs> yo, it's <an> amazing experience. <laughs> that explains it a lot. <laughs> yeah, and uh, one thing is like um, I. I know I will do short run, make him tired. And uh, before the battle, I met him. I say, hey, no matter what I did, please don't mind. But I did, didn't tell him I am gonna do short. He said, I know, but me too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, but even though we already talked about it, but we don't know what exactly we want to do. Yeah. Because we want to keep the battle Exciting. <laughs> so I do short run and I, I back he, like that. I, in my mind was like, sorry, I don't want to make you mad. <laughs> but that is the only way I can do. <laughs> <laughs> but my mind was like, oh, please don't mad, please don't mad. <laughs> but it didn't look like it when people see you. They look For sure, like I, at least I need to look like, ah, you tired? Do your move now. <laughs> <laughs> but my mind like, oh please, don't be mad. <laughs> so after the battle, I ask him, hey, do you get mad like this? He say, no, because I want to breathe in. So I, I need to breathe, even though one second. <laughs> but I cannot look weak, so the only way, I just like him. <laughs> <laughs> but he said he want to breathe. <laughs> but, but his strategy, because he told me, that his strategy was to do the long set because he knew you were going to do the short set. So he did the long set and he said he could never give up and do a short set or else it's going to make what you're doing okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think people who don't know, if they don't, they know how to read the strategy, yeah. where this battle will be so yeah. interesting. Yeah. Because in the beginning, he already know I trying to do short set, short set to make him tired. Yeah, yeah. But in his mind, it's like okay, you do short set, but I do long set to make you look stupid. Yeah, yeah. And it's he told me amazing strategy. Yeah, oh strategy. my god! And the, in, uh, after oh a couple battle, he tell me he almost want to give up his strategy. Yeah, yeah, of course. He want to do short set, but in his mind, have something spoke like, um, but I training this. Long yeah. time. Yeah. If I into hurricane strategy, something change. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. he need to keep his. It's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. Uh, his success. Yeah. You look at me so stupid. <laughs> 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 yeah. Make me look so stupid. <laughs> it's crazy. Like nobody would have ever thought that somebody can do what he did, but that was his strategy to make it extra long. But if it was anybody else, there's no way they could do that, right? Yeah, for sure. Because even the battle with Vlaz and uh, and Iron Chair. Yeah, it's only two battles. There's only they only went two battles, and then Vlaz was already only doing what, like one just top rock and one move, right? And then my young brother he draw all of his move, and then he told me Iron Chair told me if battle goes to next, he will die. <laughs> <laughs> when he stand up, his leg just like. <laughs> He said, please, don't make the battle go next. 
<laughs> so I was I I read read a lot of cyber battle. I never imagine somebody can be like Hong Ten like mm. big punch every time. Yeah, continuous nonstop. Yeah. So okay, let's talk about the cipher battle because so a lot of people don't probably know, but you've been concentrating only in ciphers for the last how long? For the last year or oh, something? Or two years. The last two years. So you didn't enter any enter many competitions. No, because I really enjoy in cipher battle. Yeah. It's a it, it's uh, before I don't understand. I just uh, do join tournament. And uh, in my mind, just do my showcase, like uh, set one, set two, set three. There is no too much strategy. Yeah. But uh, when I to read the history and something like cyber, I feel like, yo man, it's amazing. It's about the strategy and the conversation, everything. It's not only about skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even though talk shit is your strategy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I really enjoy that and pretty with my young brother, every crew member all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And but you also go around Taiwan and you're battling everybody in the yeah, cipher. Yeah, even though before I go to Silverback, New York, and uh, some some New York people call me out. I just uh, like, okay, right time, <laughs> and I want to uh, do do what I practice. So I in the cipher battle with him around 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and he's do super short, out of my understanding. Yeah. Just uh, maybe two seconds, and I come, <laughs> and I come two seconds, two seconds, two seconds, two seconds. It's everything is not set. Yeah, yeah. Make me feel like oh, we are really fighting now. Yeah, it's not yeah. Like, uh, I do a performance, and you do again. Okay, judges choose. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So I love cyber battle now. <laughs> but we could have not ever imagined that what Hong Ten did, right? You can never imagine never. that. Never. Some people say, hey, you're gonna battle your your hero. Why you don't prepare a lot? Man, I prepared yeah. a lot. You prepared, yeah. You you can go twelve. You prepared for this type of battle, and you can go twelve. Yeah, I can go twelve sure. rounds. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> he's too crazy. <laughs> he's, man, he's not normal. I battle with Iron Chair, Monkey King, in New York, and so many places. I battle, even though some Dutch cyber battle, I never <laughs> see something like that. He can go full set. Don't you wrong? No way! <laughs> and I know he still have some move doesn't use because I'm his fans. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Some people are saying, you should. You, are you gonna quit? What you gonna do now after this battle? I don't want to quit, but in my mind, I really want to build B-Boy Sing better. It's my new goal. Because long time ago, my dream was battle Hong Chen and make a team with him. And after the battle, he also asking me to make a team. Mm -hmm. So all of my dream is of uh, in b-boy battle career is kind of already realized. Yeah. It already come true. So in my mind, my next step is I want to make my group, my crew better and make the b-boy community maybe in Chai better and slowly going to Taiwan or mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. country. We've been working on the Our City B-Boys, the concept of this showdown. Why, okay, so for example, some people are saying, why did you have to make the battle this long? Why not just do two rounds or three rounds? Why did you make him battle this long for? Okay, um, in beginning, because I watch, I, I, I talk with a lot of general audience. I feel one thing, they just the same B-Boy every time do the same move. And then they can't read the detail of breaking so I was thinking like uh, how, what if I make two people battle so long then people maybe can see their spirit like if we I battle on them only three rounds it's like a showcase you can see something other but if we battle like this long even though he do like this you, you, you're trying to read his mind and um, when I bet every time I battle I lose I saw a lot of audience is crying you know, I feel success because they can know what I think about. They, yeah. they know I really want to battle my hero. This battle can put our spirit and the dream and the goal, everything inside. So it's not just a battle, it's have a story and the heart inside. Mm -hmm. So I think this battle can make people really love you. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what it's about. It's about building the fans, right? Yeah, and for sure. I, I think I give my honor to him in mm. this battle. In Chai, 
I think I kind of famous, even though in general audience. I know I bet Hong Ten is gonna lose, but I don't mind because it's. I, I'm not sure somebody after the battle see. I kind of like a one knee on the floor. Yeah, 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 and yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, because in Asian culture, two knees is only for your father. Yeah, yeah. And one knee is I want to show, I really respect you as my inspiration, yeah, and yeah. you really beat me. Yeah. So I don't mind to give all of my honor to you. What else did you feel like you've accomplished by this? Robot? Sometimes I asking myself, I lost the battle, and uh, uh, some people. Cultures on me, and I pay him money. What do I get? But uh, I think we living in our life as a human is only one time. So something if you never try, you will never know. So at least when I remind again, I, I if time can go back, ask me again. Do you want to buy the home ten? Even though I know the situation is like like now, I will say yes because I think nothing. It's better than you realize your dream. Can you imagine your hero before just watching on the TV, and now he in life eating with you and share his story with you, and later you battle on the stage and he asking you to make a team. Man, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. I think no many not many people can make his dream reality in real life. And I made it, so I think before、uh, if tomorrow, even though tomorrow I gonna die, I think it's enough for my life. And I think we can end end it right there. And、uh, is there anything else you wanted to say or? Hongtan is monster. Everybody, that's pretty much it. And if you would like to see another showdown like this in Jai again every single year, leave in the comments what you think. If you'd like to see it, and who else in the world would you like to see battling? All right, guys. See you next one. Peace.